The core mandate of the Hargeisa Water Agency is not only to supply clean pipe bone water to the people of Hargeisa, but also to expand the project to be able to cover all the regions, even outside Hargeisa community. The general manager of the agency, Mohammed Ali Darod, says commitment to meet up with a growing need of the people is uptight. In an exclusive interview with our CBA TV correspondent, Abdelaziz Balogu, the general manager of the Hargeisa Water Agency, Mohamed Ali Darod, says the population of the city is growing geometrically and it is the responsibility of the agency to forecast ahead in order to meet up with the need of the people. The Hargeisa Water Agency basically is established with a mandate to supply water to the people of Hargeisa. Currently, we are supplying water to parts of Hargeisa but also we are involved in major expansion projects where we want to increase the coverage of water supply to the citizens of Hargeisa or to the people of Hargeisa. So current water supply system was established in early 1970s, 72, 73 by the, by the Chinese government. At the time, Hargeisa was much smaller than what it is today. Uh, the current water supply was established or was basically constructed for people of 180,000 maximum, but today you know that Hargeisa has expanded over the last three decades since you know the establishment of the Somaliland nation, and we have a population of over 1 million. Of course, so you should see the mismatch there. Water intended for or uh, for 180,000. Now we have a people of around of over 1 million uh, inhabitants of the of the city of Hargeisa. And on that basis, we are doing now, or we are involved in uh, expansion projects with the support of our international partners. The manager said there is a big difference between supply and distribution of water, which the agency is concentrating on, building on the water supply infrastructure established since early 70s. Ali opined that concerted effort is geared towards consolidating on the structure that can conveniently cater for the rising population in the city with a view to serving people pure quality portable water for drinking and for domestic use. The projects we are running at the moment are divided into two. Uh, the first projects are those projects which start from all the way from the Wellville, from the boreholes, to the way you call the Chinese reservoir. You know, so water starts from the borehole, then they come to the Chinese reservoir, and that's where distribution is expected to start from. So at the moment, we have um, those two projects. One is about increasing the water supply, and one is about distribution of the water that we bring to the city of Geysa. As for the increasing of the water supply, of course, we have the support of the European Union, we have the support of the Somaliland Development Fund, where we, are, where we are already involved in excavating more boreholes, in constructing more boreholes so we can supply even more water, where we have uh, successfully completed the construction of 23 kilometer long uh, transmission main or pipe that's to supply water to Hargeza. Now it's complete. We have completed the first phase of the pump station that's to supply water for, to the city of Hargeza. And what's uh, remaining there is just, you know, the second phase of the pump station, which is you know, the electromechanical part. It should be recalled that the agency last week launched Water Quality Control Laboratory, a regional bacteriological water testing and chemical analysis laboratory to support the proper monitoring of the quality of water supplied to the entire Harkeza.